Hi everyone, I'm Su Yige from Tsinghua University, and today I'm going to present my work, improving cell bullet detection with user interaction. Uh, this is a joint work with uh, Lu Kong and Huan Liu at Arizona State University. In recent decades, cell bullet has become increasingly prevalent. It's characterized by harmful intent, reputation, and power imbalance. So a number of works have uh, aimed to tackle the socio-technical problems through computational detection and mitigation. In this paper, we highlight uh, the importance of understanding user interaction. Um, it's very essential for three reasons. The first reason is uh, it reflects the intensity of user activities. Previous studies shows that there are differences in user intensity between bullying sessions and non-bullying sessions. And the second reason is we can characterize the reputation feature of cyberbully from content and temporal analysis of user interaction. And, and the third reason is we can also monitor users' time involving rules. For example, a user's rules may transform from a bystander to a bully in the same session. And the question becomes how to model such interaction. Graph attention network are powerful tools to model data relation because it enriched node information by turning over neighborhood features. And it also used self-attentional layers with learned weights to encode that relation. So now our question becomes how can we model the interaction in a user-user graph? Actually, it's challenging because uh, first we it's very difficult to model the sparse user-to-user -user interaction. And also, um, it's also hard to model semantic and temporal reputation jointly, which are two features of cyberbully. The previous work also aimed to combine uh, content and time analysis together. Uh, however, um, then their work, um, in their work, then the content and time analysis are independent, and the interaction of users within the same session is not considered. And on the graph side, uh, previous work also proved that graph attention network proves to benefit similar tasks such as fact verification. And in their work, they represent the sentence interaction with age rates. Yeah, however, uh, we can't directly adopt their methods to ours because it's also hard to solve the unique challenges of cyberbullying with custom graph attention network. Yeah, so in this paper, we propose our approach TG Bully is a temporal graph based set bullet detection. We construct a user to user interaction graph implicitly from user comments. And above that, we encode the semantic and temporal reputation via the graph. So our primary contribution are three sides. First, we uh, highlight the importance of modeling time involving content interaction for set bullet detection. And second, uh, we also propose a principal approach to models user interaction. Um, and we model their interaction from both temporal dynamics and topic coherence. And the third contribution is uh, on the technical side, we construct a temporal graph and encode user interaction within this graph via graph attention network. So now let me introduce our framework in detail. Uh, first uh, part of our framework is the semantic context modeling. Uh, it performs comment encoding with uh, to model context of user comments and use history encoding to capture users' language behavior and uh, their personality traits uh, reviewed by their historical comments. So we also take users' historical comments into consideration. And the two encoding module has the same model architecture, which is very similar with that in HAN. The second part is temporal graph interaction learning module. And this is the call, call module in our framework. And here we establish a user to user graph. Uh, this is a fully connected graph, uh, which means the node at each user comment. And we use uh, graph edges to represent interaction between different comments. Um, and we review user interaction in a computation process of age weights. We divide the age weights uh, into two parts. One is uh, topic coherence and another one for temporal dynamics. 
For topical coherence, we take the um, transformed dot product of two uh, common representation um, to measure their uh, content similarities. And for temporal dynamics, uh, we take the transformed time interval between two comments to measure their distance in time. Okay, here it comes to our final part in uh, the session classification module. Here we aggregate, uh, aggregate uh, two user representations to get the final user representation with a gating mechanism. And um, above the user representation, we aggregate, um, aggregate all users uh, via attention and get our final session representation and make classification above that. For the experiment part, uh, we use uh, two benchmark data sets for cell bullet detection, the Instagram and Wine. And we use Twitter embedding because it's trained on social media data and which is um, has the similar data source with our data set. Um, for evaluation matrix, we use the custom record macro F1 of Boolean sessions and AUC. Uh, also, to investigate the uh, impact of data scarcity in our settings, we also randomly sampled half of the training data and construct a smaller training data set. And this table shows that the result on the Instagram data set. Uh, the evaluation um, shows the effectiveness of our TG Boolean approach. Also, we can have similar observations on the wine data set. However, on this smaller wine data set, uh, we can observe larger variations of performances. Yeah, we think uh, this happens because uh, the wine data set is uh, very much smaller compared to that Instagram because uh, one has less than 1,000 samples. Uh, so it's more easy for TG Bully to uh, show large variation. And also we want to evaluate the effectiveness of each component in our system. And so we use the live and out stream to evaluate and from these uh, results, we can conclude that both the topic coherence and the temporal dynamics are very important to our system. And among them, uh, topic coherence is the most important because without it, our graph will turn into a noisy fully connected graph because we don't uh, measure the content relevance between different comments. Also, the case study uh, also shows the effectiveness um, of our graph attention module. Uh, you can see that the green weight uh, inside this, in the middle of this picture is highlighting the interaction between three bullet comments. And um, uh, for non boolean sessions, their graph width didn't show such pattern. And besides this, we can observe that the green weights, uh, sorry, the purple weights highlights uh, bully comments and the blue weights highlights bully words. So all this case study can also prove our effectiveness. So to conclude our work, we proposed uh, TG Bully, a temporal graph-based cell bully detection module. Uh, we proposed a graph-based framework to jointly encode the topic coherence and temporal dynamics in the modeling of user interactions. And on the experiment side, we made empirical evaluation on both session level bully detection and common level case study to prove um, TG Bully's e effectiveness. And in the future, we plan to combine the TG Bully with the reply of social network to enhance its network representation ability. And besides, we also think it will be interesting to model the different roles of users, such as uh, how users uh, transform from bullies and to victims in an explicit manner. Okay, so that's all. Thank you. If you have any questions, please um, uh, raise up to me at the question and answer session.